I am Dr. Azhar Gauss from the Epidemiology Unit, Ministry of Health. At the Epidemiology Unit, we are involved in disease surveillance, training of medical personnel and non-medical personnel regarding dengue management and improving their capacities. And uh, it is, it should be mentioned that uh, in 2017 so far, we have more than 75,000 cases, which is more than what we had for the whole of last year. And uh, at present, the number of deaths have been more than double the number of deaths for the whole of 2016. So as a private practitioner and primary care uh, medical personnel, you all have an important role in the linking, the management, the clinical sides and the preventive health sectors. So it is very important that we get early notifications from the, from the patients about their addresses, about their localities, so as to keep, uh, initiate public health preventive activities. So I invite all GPs, medical practitioners and primary health care people, personnel to develop a close relation between the area MOH and your PHI and even the local laboratories where if, if there is any suspicious suspicion of a dengue patient to, to, be not, uh, to notify them accordingly. NS1 being positive is not a criteria for notifications but a clinical suspicion on the guidelines that we'll be, we will be providing very soon will be adequate. As a general practitioner myself, I know that we develop a good rapport with our patients and we know them very personally also. So it is very important that we can follow them up and give them the proper advice and the counseling, especially when it comes to uh, preventing mosquito bites and uh, by wearing long clothes mosquito repellents, applying mosquito repellents and avoiding uh, exposure to mosquitoes unnecessarily as well as keeping your environment, your households, your playgrounds, your school, uh, school place of work free of mosquito breeding places because controlling the mosquito is very important than controlling when you have fever. So I think that message should be well described to the patients, very cordially discuss with them and make them aware of the gravity of the situation and what they can do on their own to help this dengue menace.